solids liquids gases you all know that water exists in three forms it is ice in solid form water in liquid form and steam in gaseous form let us now understand what we mean by the terms solid liquid and gas let us begin with solids and liquids consider lemonade and lemon as examples lemonade takes the shape of the container in which it was poured it had no shape of its own lemonade is made from lemon now when you put lemon into any container you cannot pour it also the lemon stays as it is in the container it does not change its shape according to the shape of the container thus we say anything that has a fixed shape size and cannot flow is called a solid and anything that does not have a fixed shape can be poured easily and can flow is a liquid next liquids and gases pour a cup of water on the floor it will spread but it will not cover the entire floor or room but if the gas stove is not switched off properly the gas from the pipe or cylinder will quickly spread all over the room liquids will always flow downwards or sideways gas will flow in every direction upwards downwards and sideways too that is why we say that gas spreads it fills all available space most gases cannot be seen but at times can be smelled like liquids gas too has no shape it takes the shape of the container it is filled in now let us see how matter changes from one state to another ice melts on heating and turns into water water when heated forms water vapor water vapor condenses on cooling to turn back into water when this water freezes on further cooling it turns into ice now let us see what happens when you light a candle the wax near the flame starts melting and begins to flow down do you know why candle is made of wax and wax is a solid in its natural state a candle just kept outside will not melt unless lit now look at this ice cream it is made out of milk which is a liquid in its natural state it is frozen milk That is why if an ice cream is left outside it will melt to become milk again but it will never evaporate thus matter normally does not change its state on its own unless some external pressure or force is applied or its temperature is changed